Uh, my name is Shane. Um, I was born and bred in uh, Australia. Uh, moved to Denmark here approximately 11 years ago. I work here in Denmark full time with uh, horses, mainly problem horses or, or um, education of young horses. Uh, I work uh, mainly with um, body language and communication. I've heard the name a lot, horse whisperer. It's not a word that I, I like to use. Um, I try and think of it as um, basic horsemanship, communication with your horse. Um, problem is after the film, everyone thinks I'm gonna come out and whisper in the horse's ear, and it, it's, it's not quite whispering, it's, um, it's just basic um, body language, communication with the, the body skills. Um. And poor Mark Elliott. I work with all types of horses, but I find the largest problem I come out to is the communication problem, where people start to have horses to think too much like people. And people think that what they do is the right thing by the horse, the horse has some other ideas, and all of a sudden they have the problem where the communication doesn't go as it should, so you get these problems where horses miss the store. So my, one of my largest... Uh, my the largest amount of my work is to come out and try and um, have the, the people to understand the horses properly and have the horses to understand what the people try and say and get the communication working. And most times we can fix nearly all problems that way. Today I'm going to try and show you some uh, different uh, ways to communicate with, your, with the horse. Um, we have some young horses we've selected. Um, I don't know the horses, I haven't worked with them before, but um, we'll take the horses out into the riding field. I will try and show you how I'm going to come in and communicate with the horses and, and work with the joiner. Uh, and that is where I have to come in or, and win the horse over to my flock, show the horse I'm the boss, um, but I'm a good boss, and see if we can get some uh, work together and see how long we can come. Um, the horses we're going to work with, um, I've never seen before. I haven't worked with them before, so um, the horses don't know me. We thought it was best so that I can show you how I have to come in and um, win the horse over to my side so we can work with it. Here we have a two and a half year old uh, German stallion. Um, when I first uh, introduce myself to the horse, um, it's very important I'm using the correct body language. We can see if we uh, look at the horse now with his body language, he's a, a little bit arrogant. Um, he's a young uh, stallion and uh, it's his job to control the situation and uh, show how good he is. It's very important when I work with uh, this type of horse that I have to make it very clear to him that it's me that's the boss and not him. And, and the way I'm communicating with him is by the use of my body language. You can see when uh, he's not listening or, or won't focus on me, I'm, I'm coming very large with my body. I, I'm uh, expanding and trying to show him how strong I am. And with my body language, I'm pushing him backwards when he starts to give a little bit to me and starts to have a, a softer expression. I'm relaxing my shoulders, relaxing my head and neck and inviting him in. It's when I have his uh, attention, you can see um, I'm, I'm much more soft with my body language. We can see here he's just starting to, to chew a little bit and he has his ears from the forward and uh, he, he's very soft in his eye contact. In, in this way he's trying to show me he's, he's, he's trying to, to find out who I am and he's starting to accept me more and more. You can see if all of a sudden um, he starts to lose focus or start to or jump around or, or not listen to what I'm saying, so all of a sudden I will um, jump up with my body and, and push him a little bit, trying to uh, get his attention and ha have him to focus back on me again. When he focuses on me, so there's a lot of soft contact, uh, like now you can see uh, handling, relaxed body language, a little bit down with the shoulders, 
You can see I also talk a lot to the horse, but the, what I say, it doesn't really matter. It's more the, the stem. I don't know the horse from before. I don't know how much it's tried. Um, I count on uh, when I know the owner that it's been in uh, good hands. It's uh, been handled. You can lead it around from the paddock to the stables and uh, you can do the basic things with him. But um, much more than that, he, he's never tried them. It's just important when I come into the horse, I'm uh, very soft with my body language. Uh, no quick movements. Um, come in and, and, and uh, just a lot of good contact with him. He has to learn uh, who I am and I have to sort of learn how much he knows and uh, learn a little bit about him so I know how better to continue with the work. The only thing I'm asking the horse right now is, is, is just to try and relax and, and stand still and accept me. As soon as he, he relaxes and he, he, he gives and uh, accepts me as the boss, so I try to have him as, uh, I try and be as relaxed as I can with my body. I have a, a little trick I use sometimes if the horse uh, won't concentrate. Uh, I have a, a, a lethal weapon that's called a, a thumb. If, if the horse all of a sudden loses concentration or doesn't, uh, doesn't listen to what I'm doing, uh, I, I find one way I can get the horse's attention without being too violent to m myself or to the horse is the, the thumb up in the ribs. Just prick him a little bit behind the, where the girth is. And you can see now when he's been a little bit dumb, all of a sudden, a little bit hard with the body language, push him back a little bit, put him in his place. Tell him that's uh, not allowed. As soon as he relaxes, invite him in again. I want the horse to trust me. So I want to be able to handle the horse over all of its body. What I have to be aware of, I'm working here with a young stallion that, that doesn't know so much. It's, um, I, have, I should have respect for this horse. He's stronger than I am, he's faster than I am. So there's only one uh, muscle I have in my body that's actually stronger than the horses, and that's that little muscle between the ears. So we hope that uh, in this point I'm a bit stronger. Now you can see he starts to lose concentration. I, I just... Um, up a bit hard with the shoulders and a bit with the head and, and push him back a little bit. He relaxes, invite him in. Use my body language to stop him. When we don't know the horse, we have to be uh, very careful when we're working around the horse. Um, young stands have a little bit of a um, habit of using their front legs, so I don't stand right in front of the horse. Uh, the other point we have to watch out for, of course, is the, the back legs here. If you get too close or into the wrong place, so you can end up with a, a come. kick. Come, come. When I'm working around the, the back legs, um, if I'm aware of, of, of where that they, they can kick, uh, where the horse can uh, kick after me, so I can put myself in a position where I have less chance of uh, getting kicked or coming to getting injured. It's very important when we work with such a, a strong uh, animal and a quick animal, we use, uh, we, we treat the animal with respect and uh, with common sense. You can see here I'm using the thumb when the horse won't stand still. Push him a little bit. As soon as he stands still, I release the pressure. Pressure pouring when he won't listen or when he's uh, being stupid. As soon as he relax and stands still, then I take the pressure off and uh, come in and give him good contact. You can see here where he's trying to um, accept me. He's uh, uh, licking and chewing and forward with the ears. There's very good contact here. What we have to remember with a young horse like this, he's, he's a little bit, um, they have a little bit of trouble to concentrate for long periods of time. 
So uh, every now and then uh, it's necessary for me to just uh, give him a little bit of a shock with the body language and just uh, catch his uh, attention again. As soon as he starts to concentrate again and lick and chew a little bit and toward forward with the ears, soft with the eyes, invite him in and then I relax. When I'm doing this sort of uh, join up with the horse, it's, it's, it's very important. I, I understand what um, signal I'm sending to the horses. The, the important points to remember are I have to show the horse that it's me that's uh, the boss. I have to come in and I have to take over control. I have to show the horse that for me that's strong, so I have to be very confident of myself. Um, on the other side, I also have to show the horse that I'm a good boss. If he uh, trusts me, then I'm going to look after him. That's why every time he uh, tries to give or accept me as boss, then I try to relax and invite him back into my um, flock, and uh, we, we work well some together. You can see when I'm, uh, I work with the rope on the horse, but you can see that um, most of the time there's no pressure on the rope. <gasps> The, the meaning is um, I'm using my body to control him. Um, I, I, I come hard with my body language to push him away and tell him he's doing something wrong. I relax with my body and uh, when I invite him in. So the rope's just here as a, a backup so I don't have to run too much. We can see the horse we just worked with was um, fine enough. He was uh, a young stallion. He was a little bit fresh, and he tried to put me put me put me in my place a little bit. But but that's what he's supposed to do. It's part of his natural instinct. Um, because I've got a bit of experience with it, and I could read his body language, and I could communicate back to him with my body language. It went fine. Um, in the next step, we're going to be showing you a little bit more about the. Uh, where to stand and where not to stand when you're trying to lift the back legs and uh, um, how you're going to work around the young horse w without getting injured. Um, I understand the horse actually has a little bit of trouble with the, the back legs which um, the owner hasn't said too much about but um, we'll work a little bit with it and uh, see what we need to find out.